With our incredible Crokinole Board Wall Mount Kit, you will never again need to ask your spouse. Honey, where'd you put my Crokinole Board? It'll be right in plain sight, easy for you to see, easy for you to grab off the wall to play, and anyone who walks into your house will immediately know that you love to play the greatest game on earth. And where you hang it is completely up to you. Jeremy, that's not going in the kitchen. What? Not the kitchen. Why not the kitchen? Why the kitchen? Any place that you have an open wall with a little more than 30 inches, you're good to go. Jeremy, this is my sewing room. It's not your crokinole room. If it's your home and it's your board, you can put it anywhere you want. Wherever it would make you happy. Oh yeah. Absolutely anywhere. Yeah. Jeremy, no. Oh, come on. You better fix that bed. <sighs> yes, dear. And when I say that, I mean anywhere that you're allowed. Once you've been through your process of elimination and you've been able to decide where you want to mount your crokinole board, here's what you'll need to do. Before we jump into that, a quick note. If you order your crokinole board from us and your wall mount at the same time, we always install the plate on the back of the board so you don't need to worry about that. If that's you, go ahead and jump ahead to the part in this video where we actually put the wall bracket up. For those of you who've ordered after the fact, here's what you're going to want to know. So when you get your kit, you're going to see you've got the plate, the bracket, and six screws. Two of those screws are longer. These go with the part, the bracket that goes on the wall. So for now, I'd recommend that you set those aside with the bracket so there's no chance of you taking these longer screws and putting them into your crokinole board. That's what the shorter screws are for. So you'll see this plate has five holes in it. The middle hole, the only purpose of that is a guideline for you. Because at least with Tracy boards, I don't know about other manufacturers, but every one of our boards has this dead center hole in the base. So what you want to do is line those up. So the center hole of the plate and the center hole of the board are lined up. And for the super uptight people out there, don't stress if this isn't 100% dead straight. If it gets off a little titch, it's really not going to affect how well this works for you. Obviously, try to line it up, but just uh, what I'm suggesting is you just don't stress over it too much. So get it lined up as best you can, and then either with a drill or an impact and a Phillips bit, start, pick whatever hole you want, and what I'd encourage you to do is take this first one, and put it almost all the way in. It's not wrong if you put it all the way in, you'll just find this a little more user friendly. If you do put that down tight, it will lift the plate a little bit on the opposite side and it just makes it a little more awkward. So you get the first one in and then come over to the second one. This one we're gonna bury all the way in. Had a quick look, I'm still pretty lined up straight there. Tighten that first screw. And with each one of these, you're going to want to make sure you get them all the way in, all the way down snug, because there's not a lot of extra room here. So if you put one of these and you don't put it all the way in, that screw head could end up touching your table. So just make sure it gets nice and tight, pulled all the way down in. The other thing I didn't touch on is that when you go to do this, I would recommend that you either put this down, put your board upside down on a carpeted floor. Or if you do want to work like I am now to make it a little more comfortable, if you care about your table, just put a piece of cardboard down so there's no chance that the pegs can, can touch your table. So we've got that layer of protection in between. And that's it. You've made sure this is nice and snug and tight. The plate is ready to rock and roll. Now we're going to move over and talk about how you actually put the bracket on the wall. Let's take a look. 
if you read the instructions that come with your wall mount kit, what the recommendation from the manufacturer is that you want to have your top of your two screws be 52 inches off the floor. Now for our purposes, because we've got this as the backdrop for our YouTube videos, we actually want it a little bit lower. So if you're more particular, if you have an exact spot you'd like to do, have this mounted, I'd encourage you to, to find the exact center of where you want your board to be mounted, put that mark on the wall, and then come down four and a quarter inches. I've already got this marked out to save time in the video. So I've got four and a quarter inches, then hold the plate up to mount to mark the second spot on the wall. The other consideration is that in a perfect world, where you want your board would line up with a stud. So you can get yourself a stud finder and see if you can find a stud. If not, that is why we have included these two plastic inserts. So you can pre-drill holes, the instructions on the, on the plastic insert box says to use a 5 16 drill bit to drill those pilot hole. Then these plastic inserts can go in. I'm gonna do that and then come back to show you how this actually gets mounted on the wall. But from there, it's pretty straightforward. Now the plastic inserts are in the wall. From here, it's pretty straightforward. You're back to your impact, or even a screwdriver would work at this point. Got the bracket up. Recommend testing it a little bit. I mean, once it's on the wall, it needs to hold the weight of the board, but nobody should be hanging off it or, or doing uh, any kind of chin-ups, but just making sure that's nice and solid on your wall. And then it's as simple as sliding that into place. And you are one of the cool cats that has a crokinole board hanging on your wall. Check it out. I actually hung this on the wall myself. So there you have it. Once you've picked your spot, got your bracket mounted, this is super user friendly, very easy to pop off the wall, play to your heart's content. And when you're done, easily pop it back in place, turn it so that it's straight. Like I say, pick your spot, mount your board. Hey, Jeremy. Yeah. Is Elaine uh, going to be all right with that? <laughs> is, Elaine, is Elaine going to be all right with that? <laughs> Listen, Mackenzie, I don't know how things work at your house, but here in the Tracy house, I call the shots, man. My crokinole board, my decision. Oh, hey. hey. Um, are you, you're good? Like, you're okay? You happy that with that? That looks great. Looks like you found a great spot. I'm good there? Like I said, man, my house, my decision. Elaine. We have, we've talked about this before. Now, can, can you please not embarrass me like this? Like, Mackenzie's right there, the cameras are on. Can, while the camera's on, can we just pretend like I have a say? Don't tell me to remake the bed. None of this house, I'll remake the bed any way that I want. Hope that's good enough. Incredible new, <clears throat> did you see me in that? <laughs> Literally anywhere. I shouldn't put literally anywhere. Somebody will try to hang it on their f ceiling and get mad at me. All right, you can probably stop that. Why not the kitchen? Why not the kitchen? Why not the kitchen?